Guys, guess what? 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 I just took, I secretly just took two shots. <laughs> Did you, you really? Did? I did. I did. On a Tuesday. I, I just felt like I, I like I was, I was in the kitchen. I was pouring myself some prime, like some prime, and then I was like, I'll just do two shots. I was okay. like, should I do one or two, Leah? She's like, How do you I feel? Do. Instantly better. I feel. I think it's more of a placebo. Obviously, it hasn't hit. I just took it. Yeah. But in my head, I'm like, I'm a little more excited. Like I'm just excited. Yeah. I guess I. It was. It was. It was like. It was like shock therapy. It was like I just. Someone just shocked my chest. And then, like, I ran into this room. Jordan, give me happy hour. I'm not an alcoholic, <laughs> but I think I do, like, I would lack control if I just took two shots. I couldn't go about my day the same. I, I want to, like, oh, keep let's going. keep the vibe going. No, yeah. I can, I can definitely, like, <laughs> like, I can definitely um, not drink anymore today. Like, I'm, I'm good. I, I, it, it kind of, like, gets me through. Wow, I sound like an alcoholic. Um, <laughs> it just it, makes it the day a little <laughs> bit more bearable. It's a little bit more bearable. It's it like makes, a, no, it makes this episode a little bit more, like, just. I'm not, I'm not you're looking at, at it. You're honestly more dialed. Right now? When you, when you have like a couple of drinks. Everyone's, yeah, I think a lot of people like are just a little bit more people. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I hate the most well, because I uh, don't want to have to rely on it, but I do have a secret. When I took class last week, <gasps> I brought a happy hour with me. Mariah. And I took it right before. Mariah. I was on cloud. Zach, not, I Zach was, starts drinking. She's like, oh, well, I don't want to be the only one that's not drinking. I, I think where I had like a friend that like, didn't drink. I think it yet. was, I mean, I'm aware what alcohol does to me. I'm aware, like, I'm grateful that I have self-control where I can have one drink, feel fine, and then just cut it off there. Yeah. Um, I just don't like that. I, I wouldn't want to have to rely on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's why like I stay away from medication because I don't want to have to rely on it. Because I, there's no medication that actually boosts your confidence, confidence like that. I want to learn how to calm myself down without any yeah. medication. I just don't know alcohol. anything else that gives, it's a, it, because <laughs> what it is, is a confidence boost. I think that's that's the yeah. only thing that I feel like alcohol does. It yeah. lowers it lowers your anxiety. Yeah. Exactly. Which, Which like, sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it, it'll get rid of your anxiety. But it doesn't give you, that Cause confidence. it is in your blood. Does medication like suppress and alcohol like? It's an uh, it's an upper. I mean, well, no, alcohol's alcohol a, a downer. downer. It's a, wait, all alcohols are downers. Yeah, yeah. Really? Tequila, they say, is like the most like stimulating yeah. alcohol, but it's still a, technically a depressant. Like, think okay. think about you. Like, you start drinking, you get you get kind of tired, you get groggy, you get kind of. It affects yeah. your it affects your motor capabilities, especially wine. <gasps> you know, we so fun. That. I have class tonight. What if we all go down to Melrose? We go to that hit the bar. We go to that blockbuster bar down the block from the dance studio. Yeah, and then I go take class, and you guys look through the window and. Okay. If, <laughs> I kind of like that. If, if Zane has a couple drinks, that. he's gonna be in there with Wait, you. Do you want to know something embarrassing? Every time I take class, I've been taking class for years and years and years, but every time I take class, a, I'm always looking out the window because a part of me feels like like some. So, I'm someone I know would just like surprise me and walk by and be like. <laughs> You're watching too much Hallmark movies. No, and every time I look at the window, it's those damn Postmate robots. Or that one lady. It's funny that you said no. that because I've thought about going to see you and I already know you have anxiety. Yeah. So I just imagine me showing up and then you see me and then it's like complete yeah. shut down. Because I get very distracted. If When there's a window, I'm looking out the window. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not paying attention to what's going on. Every five seconds, I'm like, oh, another robot. What, like, what's what, her What name? did they order? Suzanne. What kind of food's in there? Yeah, let's roll the intro, Matt. What? <laughs> what? Just, it, was, it was just kind of like, it was just kind of nasty. I don't oh, know. no, no, no. I just <laughs> thought like it had, we had recorded for a while. We forgot about it. Sorry. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, you ready? Mm. Oh, I hate that there's water all over your cup. I washed it before it's, it's, putting it's my fuck, coffee it's in. Fuck it. It's like my, my LCD. All right, oh. never mind. All right, let's go. You ready? Six, yeah. <clears throat> Three, two, one. It's, it's coffee, coffee talk, talk, baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That was it. Zane Welcome back to Zane and Heath. We gotta take Unfil turns. We gotta take turns doing That's that. That's fine. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Heath. I'm Zane. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are unfiltered. Ooh, right. How that? That sound good, right? I love That's it. We got, we got a great, great intro. Yeah. That came, that intro that and we are unfiltered. That happened like a month ago, right? <laughs> Relatively recent. <laughs> Why didn't that happen? Like the second episode. Like how Probably did we not think of that? Because we say unfiltered so many times that That's it's like, true. all right, we get it. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, well, welcome back to another episode. Thank you for joining us for another Monday, Tuesday. Guess what I did today? What'd you do? I'm an official 
California driver. <laughs> wow. Welcome. Finally. Ten years I've been out here. Is it a real like a real ID? Yes, Cali I got ID? a California driver's license and the real ID. Good. Good for you. Look at you Which getting your kept, priorities straight. I know. They kept postponing that. It was like mandatory real ID back in like 2019. And yes. then they just like, all right, 2020. All right. Oh, wait. that It never got enforced? No. Now, now they pushed it to like 2025. <laughs> yeah. They, just, they just keep postponing it. I, think, I don't know. Oh, well, I, well, well, con yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Do you, are you going to get a custom license plate or anything? Well, I have um, the custom plate on my 911. What is it? It says Cremona. Oh, you haven't seen it? It says Cremona on the back. No, <laughs> yeah. I've never seen that. So, yeah. so when I get one, does it have to say like Cremona too? <laughs> well, Cremona <laughs> is the amount of numbers. You can't have any more characters. Oh, it's like the... It's, oh. It fits perfect. Oh, shit. Okay. You could do um, a Cre zero <laughs> instead of an O. Oh, good idea. I'll do that. But yeah, so I finally did it. I, I went down there at uh, nine in the morning. I waited in line. I had my appointment and everything. And you know how they make you like put in all your information and submit your application before you go. So I, yes. like, I put in like my proof of documents, my passport, all sorts of stuff. And then they were like, all right, just go to the appointment. We get there. I wait in the whole long line. Finally get in. They call my number. I go up. She's like, all right, do you have your passport or your birth certificate? And I'm like... I submitted it. And she was like, no, you have to have it here. Oh. And I was like, can I run, go get it, come back and have my spot still? She's like, no, unfortunately, you lost your place for today. <laughs> you have to. So there's two lines. There's, there's no remorse. There's an appointment line and then there's a non-appointment line. Yeah. The DMV don't take shit. So huh? <laughs> wait, said, wait, she asked for your birth certificate or a passport. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I thought you knew that, that you had to bring uh, like either. Well, a what passport pisses or... me off is that I did this the last time, like three years ago when I tried to get a driver's license. I did the same thing. I waited in the line, got there and forgot my passport. And then I was like, all right, you know what? I'll just get it later. So I finally ended up doing it and I did the same exact thing and I forgot it again, but I ended up getting my passport and then I had to wait in the non-appointment line and just like go through the whole process again. I wish you, I wish you hit me up because I have a guy that gets you to the front. I know, I know. I've heard about those guys. Something's got to be done about though. DMVs. There, it's it just something only, different, like a different system. Something. something. Yeah, I no, agree. I told Heath, I was like, go to the one in the least populated area so that it doesn't take as long. And he was still there for like three hours. It yeah, was, I, so you wait in line and then you show all the documents, whatever. And then they're like, okay, great. You're done with this part. Then you got to go wait in a camera line to, to, get, to get your picture taken. Once you finish the camera line, you got to start and go to a whole nother line to do a driver's test. And I didn't know I needed to do a test. Yeah. When I went California. there, oh, yeah. so they were like, all right, so now you're going to have to do your test. I'm like, my test? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you should be fine, though. And she gives me, she goes to like, give me like this pamphlet. It's like a, a dry cheat sheet kind of, right? But the packet is like 200 pages long of like a, a written driver's test. I'm like, oh, I don't have time for this. Yeah. So I go get in line and I'm waiting there. And the guy in front of me, he looks at me and goes, did you study? <laughs> and I was like, no, I just, I just got here. And he's like, um. I failed it my first two times. This is my third day in a row having to come down here. And Did I'm like, he look like a smart guy? He, yeah, he just looked like my I, age. He I looked fine. I had, to, I had to take mine twice. Cause I didn't what want to study that's, it. Well, what was the question that's so, just well, very, just very specific and what, yeah. what questions that we wouldn't know. I took the test before, what but I took it online though, before I did is it. Is the fact that you get to do it three times in one day. So okay. th this is his third day now. So that means he failed it six times <laughs> and he's been through this process now of like three, four hours to get back to the <laughs> test portion. So I would imagine he's freaking out. Like, I don't want to waste another day coming down here for four oh, hours. Yeah. So then I start freaking out and I look at the lady behind me. I'm like, did you study? And she was like, I've been studying all last night, all day today. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. I, I'm about to like bomb <laughs> this test. So then. I finally get up there. I go to take the test. It's a it's a surprisingly long test. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. And they don't tell you how many you have to get right. They don't tell me how many you can get wrong. It's just like, go. And like, I'm taking the test and they're all questions. You could tell it's written in a way to- Trick you. To like get you to like- They're not common sense questions. No, they're yeah. like, come when, on. When and I it's first... a bit of like a personality test too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. they, are you the type of person who would do this? <laughs> like you're like- um, I thought we we're just talking about the rules of the road here. <laughs> no, you're 100 like, yeah. right. Do not well, try to size me you're up. Questioning your that was driving. like so. One of the the questions I got wrong was like, what do you do if you're driving at night and the person driving oncoming to you has their high beams on? Right. Would you flick so your lights? Like, it's like a. It is a personality test. It's not like what does the book say? Because it was like, do you um, remain at your speed and put your high beams back on to, to right. shine at mm -hmm. them? Do you 
Look straight ahead. Maintain speed, but look in the corner left of your lane. Do you pull or, over and call the police? <laughs> or do you re like remain at your speed and look to the right side of your lane? What? So, those are, wait, those, those, were, wait flicker? those were the options. Did you know what the right answer is? I do now. What is it? So I put remain at your speed, look straight, and put your beams on. Wrong. No, no. You put your beams on too? Well, it didn't say you could flash your beams. It was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Look straight ahead. Give them the oh, bird. Fuck. No, yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't put that. Apparently, you're supposed to look in the corner of the le like of the left corner of your lane and do nothing. I don't know why left corner over right. Cor I don't know. D, mind your business. The, the <laughs> universal thing to do is to flicker it. That's what everybody does. Well, yeah, you just beep beep. Hey, they change the fucking lot. Get tickets out. I want to see a ticket to every person that does yeah. that flickers their fucking. I beam. remember when I first moved to California. I got my California ID right away. So I was wasn't even driving in LA yet because I didn't even have my car. So I like went to take the test. And again, I didn't know you had to take a test for a different state. Like now it's common sense. Like duh, right. they have different rules, but I didn't know that. So I went to take the test and the I will never forget the one question that stumped me. Now I'd be able to answer it because I understand it. But that HOV lane that we have, mm -hmm. that wasn't in, on the East Coast. It's the express lane. It's just yeah. for fast drivers, just uh -huh. to like whatever. This lane, the questions, they were like, when are you allowed to drive in the HOV lane? Now it's a carpool lane. It didn't say that. Yeah. It said, if you're in a convertible <laughs> with three people, if you're in a semi truck, <laughs> With one person, and they kept changing the car, and I was like, "Does the car <laughs> have something to do that's, with this lane?" Like they're saying that to try to throw you a convertible. You're like, "Okay." Yeah, and I was like, "Maybe, maybe cars with the top down aren't allowed." You have to think of the way people think too. Don't like do trick questions. This is like a serious. Like, this, this is, this a, is seri a serious. This is not a time to be joking. This is not like a, a high school math class. This is a. We are all trying to get our driver's license. I know. We want to maybe, answer the questions maybe it's right. to keep the DMV busy and, uh. and stick to their because uh, people reputation. are taking longer. You got to buy it every time you go in. Mm. So did they tell you if you were like a Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it seems like. Oh, one one question though. I mean, now you'll you'll know because we have hills here. Um, when you're on a hill, <laughs> hold on. When you're on a hill and there's uh, oncoming traffic and you're going up and the lane is too narrow for both cars to pass. Okay. Which car has to back up to let the other person through? Is it A, the first person there? B, the person going downhill, or C, the person going uphill? Downhill. Who has to back up? It can't be the first person there because at a stop sign, if you're the first person, you're the first one to go. Yeah. Can't be that in my head. Right. I, I say I say downhill. Who so has the I, nicer car? <laughs> <laughs> Who contributes Wait, more? what was the third one? So this it, happened to me and Ryan Gosling one time where he let me pass. <laughs> this is what I'm like envisioning where he was like coming down the hill and I and I stopped and I let Ryan Gosling go. How does it go, feel and he to live my dream? Yeah. So, so who backs up? The person that's going uphill, do they back up and let the downhill go or does the downhill person reverse uphill I think, and then let the person go? I think the going. person going downhill because if you're going uphill, it's, it's hard to... You might roll back. But you have to think like, they have to put more to energy like, to back it's, it's up. It's hard up. to back up when you're going down though. Yeah. No, I'm thinking it's hard to go forwards if you're if you roll back, then it's hard to pick up speed and right. go okay, up. Okay, let's keep going because Heath has the answer, right? Yeah. I okay. wait, it's the person I got who, this one wrong, by the way. It's the person who's going up the hill has to back down because it requires more energy on the person right, going to down go the hill the to, to then stop, break, and then press more gas to go back uphill. It's the person who's yes. wait, I know going because up. it's e well <laughs> It requires know. less energy in, on the vehicles. Okay. In reality, it's the person who has more room to move exactly. over. Exactly. He I know whichever one makes more I know sense. your answer though. I know what you put down. What did I put? You put down the person who's going uphill has to back up. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And that's wrong. That was wrong. That was Wait, wrong. That's insane. That makes no is that, sense. Is that because people who have stick shift? It do, Well, first of all, I would think that stick shift would be even more annoying to be downhill. Right. And then you have to get into reverse and then you're rolling down and then you got to try to... What are they doing at the test making board? They're all going... <laughs> So guys, you know when you're going down the hill, they're like, you're right, oh. They go, okay, that's the right yeah. answer. They go, they, put it out. So. Isn't it crazy that th there's like a, a room like a room of maybe like a six board people that is agreeing that are just on like, this. hmm, this makes more sense. It's like kind of fun. I think the people, but everybody now, do you should think decide. A cop, <laughs> you think a cop going downhill or like going uphill would look at you and just be like, bust it. Back yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. What were the animations were they giving you? Was it like, like a... <laughs> 
<laughs> there was none. It was just words. No, it was just words. Which show, give it, me a visual. <laughs> yeah, right. right? And then show me, if it's wrong, show me the right way exactly. how it's done. I want some CGI, like... <laughs> Yeah. illustration some 3d give me some glasses yeah <laughs> actually that's not a bad idea like a video visual as the question yeah like you see it like it, visually you see right. a car going down and car going up and then they pause and they go what should you do <laughs> were you were you ever cool. like using your hands like going <laughs> The whole time, yeah. I was closing my eyes trying to like picture it in my brain. Oh, I'd be screwed if I had to picture anything. <laughs> it is wild. We're in did you ask? Did you ask a teach? Was there like a test monitor who was like, "Yeah, it's asking"? No, no, it, no. They, it's they were they were all over your back. Like, <laughs> but, uh, the, but the teacher, you're like, "Can I have help on number three? All they do is repeat the question, and they're like, "Think hey, about it." Hey guys, think about on it. number three. <laughs> oh, it's so embarrassing, guys. This is the third time I'm getting asked this question. I'm gonna need you to log out for me. <laughs> what color is the sky? Can I have a, a, um, help with this question? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here it says, now what color, color. is the sky? Think about it. <laughs> they just put <laughs> emphasis on it. one Thank word. you so much, Diane. <laughs> Give it a shot or like try, <laughs> right. it, try it out. Try it out. But yeah, they, try it out. They, they don't, I don't know. They, try it out. they're all over your ass because they don't want you on your phone or anything. Yeah. But just like, you know what? Let me learn. Let me learn. If I if I'm genuinely curious, let me look up. Say that's called studying. <laughs> no, th th no. You see, but some people like me, I can't study. I'm telling you that right now, memorization. If I would have failed that test, I would have driven out of there a lot more aggressively. Uh huh. A move, a move, following man. less rules. So do help the pe person period, out. Period. Poo. Did you do an eye test at all? I did do an eye test. How'd you do? Good. I have my contacts in. Not better than me though. Shut up. <laughs> Whatever. YMCBC. He's perfect. Sorry. I should get that tattooed. YMBCC. Wait, you do an eye <laughs> tattoo? <laughs> Is it on your back? <laughs> but it's shaped as wings. So it's all letters. But it's <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, DoorDash. Are you missing that syrup for your pancakes or just ran out of your favorite coffee creamer? With DoorDash grocery delivery, you can get what you want when you want right when you need it. You've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites and now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered or we'll make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries just like you picked them yourself. And if you want even more value, you s <clears throat> and if you want even more value, you can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership and with easy substitutions right in the app and the best in class customer support doordash delivers groceries exactly how you want it right now you can get a 50 percent off your first doordash order for up to a 20 dollar value when you use code zane at checkout that's not fair i i use doordash more than you how do you know that you doordash more than me do i tell you every time i doordash i don't well i'm assuming because i, I use it a lot i doordash every day you think I cook? I, we've already went over this. I don't right, I don't know right. how to cook. All right, fine. Well, that's 50% off up to $20, no minimum subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code Zane. Again, don't forget, that's code Zane for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. And this is a limited time offer. Terms apply. Thanks, DoorDash. Thank you, DoorDash. We love you, baby. Not as much as I love you. Have you uh, did you guys see what's been trending on? Uh, I mean, it's everywhere, but it's I saw it on TikTok. But the lady that was at the BAFTA Awards that oh, did that performance. What? What's a BAFTA? It's, it, it's like a it's like a British Oscars. Uh, Oscar, okay. British Oscars, pretty much. And <laughs> what and this lady? They had. <sighs> Do, well, do, do you know who this lady is? Uh, that was uh, Ariana Debose. She was in uh, West Side Story. She okay. was in West Side Story. I'm pretty sure she like, didn't she win an Oscar last year for her performance? Like, she, so this is an Oscar she, winner. She's an Oscar winner. I'm pretty Actress. sure. And she, uh, you know, and she's a Broadway performer. She has been up in front of stage just before. They, she had this do, she had, they made her do this like, or I don't know if this was her idea, this like rap for all the celebrities and she like ties in all the nominations and it is. Guys, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in any award show that <laughs> ever, but we're gonna play it, but like we're not gonna play it in the video. Just go search it if you guys are listening. She was set up to fail. This like, I wish I could see what happened when it came to I playing show crowd shit. reaction. She like kept saying nominees and everyone's just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> It was atrocious, oh. but then, but me and Matt were talking about it. We we're like, 
There is no way that she performed it. This this isn't the first time that somebody's seen this. There's a board. The BAFTA board. The BAFTA people approved saw it. this, approved this performance, and and. And it, she, so you comes, can tell while she's singing it, she knows. Like you can see her. <laughs> she's like, like she knows it's. Oh she's having gosh. a hard time breathing. But Matt, Matt, it like, looks like said, she's almost about to laugh. Matt said something really interesting. She's a she's a theater performer. She's Broadway. How is she not able to breathe as she's singing? Well, it was yes. nonstop. They didn't take. It wasn't like a song. It was just constant talking <laughs> the names. And the lyrics though oh are just weak. She's like Angela Bassett did, did the, the thing. thing. By all the Davis, my woman King. So people of Blanche power King. making these decisions. The DMV, this, they're all on drugs, <laughs> correct? They have to but be. But I have a feeling that, so BAFTA, like I never hear about these award shows. You have, this, this is the first time you've ever heard of the BAFTA yeah, award show. It. And it's like, it's the main, it's like the main one in uh, the UK. Yeah. And we, I was, I was saying how they, they never get any, they never get any PR. Like nobody's ever really watching the BAFTA in the US at least. I think the people of BAFTA, they had to figure out a way Something to like, get people to, get to it. watch it. Yeah. She was blindsided though. She probably came up with the idea with her team. She thought it was good. <laughs> they watched it and they were like, this is bad, but we really need this. It's gonna, no, trust me, the numbers. It's are going to- A person with a clipboard going, <laughs> like, you know what? Is, <laughs> but it's so crazy to me that that show wasn't for the people there. It wasn't for her. It wasn't for it was for it was for, it was for it us. Was for the internet. It was for us to to fucking laugh at. It, it's it's kind of camp now. <laughs> people are saying this is kind of camp. It's so bad and it's not being taken like too seriously. Where it's funny, but her feelings were so hurt where she had to deactivate her Twitter. Account. Yeah, it, it's so sad. Oh but, no! <laughs> like, the thing is, is like go laugh at yourself. Go do, redo the audio yeah. in your kitchen for a TikTok her PR right. team and move shut on. Off. But she was like, oh, you know she was going to bed, like <laughs> <laughs> thinking about all the celebrities going, looking is, at her going, what I are mean, you And doing? I'm not like, I, I'm not, I wasn't, I mean, it's, it sounded to me, I didn't show you guys to laugh at that. I wanted to show you that. I, it's just crazy the how, I just wish I knew what was the intention of that video. It's a Cause it wasn't, it was not, for the show, it was not to make the show good. It was, but like that's what ma that makes the industry so crazy. Is that like it's, people are making these decisions, and I feel like <laughs> there are evil people that like want to see they people don't, they fall don't, on they people's don't care expense. about people's emotions or yeah. like, if somebody gets hurt or they get made fun of. They're just like, did but, you see how much exposure we got? Out like, of that. Yeah. BAFTA was like posting the cringy clip on the TikTok <laughs> account. Like if I did something so embarrassing in an award show, asked me oh to do it, God. and they decided to and then they replay the cringiest the thing on their yeah. TikTok, I'd be so pissed. And, and, they, and they put the eye emojis. I'm like, no. But they, they're they digging her the, deeper. They put that? <laughs> no. Like the. Y'all seeing this? Oh, man, man, it's. I don't know. I mean, I, I, you brought you guys probably. Don't that's really, it. She's a theater but, kid, though. Theater kids sometimes they'll get on those no highs. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I had a rap phase. <laughs> Wait, what? I had a rap phase where I was rapping for. Um, I did it for work. I did it for school. I worked at an amusement park, and I was working. <laughs> I was working the carnival games, and we had to get on the microphone. If they caught you not on the microphone, like luring people in, you would get in trouble. So you had to be constantly talking, but I was, for some reason, I was, I didn't want to annoy people and be like, come on, like come play. I didn't want to be that person. Cause I get annoyed with those people. So I was like, let me come up with a rap that will lure people in. So I was oh coming up with, with raps to lure people in. I was like, ring toss, a dollar a ball. And I like <laughs> 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 hook around the bottle, gotta win them all. Like <laughs> hook around the bottle, gotta win them all. Oh, you all. remember and it. I made up a whole rap and actually the- Is this you as Snoopy? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Well, it was before that. I was only 14 when I was working at the, the ring toss. Oh. And uh, when I was, the day I decided to rap was the CEO of the park walked by undercover and he gave me like a no. bunch of money for the food court. So you were rewarded. I was rewarded, but I, I wasn't embarrassed to do that. And then in school, we had to do a PowerPoint on a president <laughs> and me and my friend Savannah had uh, William Taft. 
and <laughs> everyone was doing a PowerPoint and we were like, we were like, oh, I'm too embarrassed to like go up there and like do the PowerPoint. I was like, let's come up with a rap. Like oh. I've, done, I've done it before. Like I've been around the block. Like, trust me. <laughs> She's like, trust cool. me, we'll get some coupons for free lunch. <laughs> uh, she was like, cool. So we came up with, with this rap that played during the PowerPoint. So we didn't have to stand up there. We just had our rap speak for itself. Oh, I would, that's smart. That's yes. smart. And because I wasn't embarrassed the first time, I figured it'd be easy. But once it started playing in the class, <laughs> we sunk under our desks. And I was like, absolutely not. I never want to do this again in my life. And I never did. Number one, five, eighteen fifty seven. Cincinnati is the crib of the president. Eighty seven graduated from the C law school. Came a general, eighteen ninety, eighteen ninety two. You were the fifty worst solicitor general rule. We're a loyal little bit of public official. In 1901 to 1903, William B. Number One, Governor of Philippines. You're different than everybody else's project, right? Yeah. You did like a rap everybody yeah. else presented. So yeah. everybody was probably like, this girl thinks okay. she fucking. Okay. It's like a <laughs> It's crazy how much confidence we all had when we were younger. I know. And the older we get, it just right out the door. The good mm -hmm. thing it was it was on brand for me. I feel like people weren't surprised that me and my friend Savannah <laughs> did it. Out but, of the box. But yeah. we hearing it and seeing it come to life in front of a crowd, I was like, no. Mm. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Mm. Pull the plug. Never mind. You should do that for an episode. What? <laughs> do, do a rap presentation that we can all watch. <laughs> no, <laughs> never you, again. You'll have everybody else watching too. That'd be great. Absolutely not. Man, and her hairstyle too. It's I know, it looks <laughs> just like don't be picking on sorry, that. Hair. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll stop. We'll stop. No, we'll stop. we can. Her haircut looked like John and K plus eight. <laughs> stop. Dude, John and K plus eight. Did y'all watch that show? Yes. Yeah. Dude, that's a back, crazy show. Looking back, she sucks. Bucks. <laughs> Just a bitch. But we used wow. to watch it because uh, they only lived like an hour from us in Pennsylvania. So we thought it was like, just like a local celebrity. That Did we you were try watching. to go to the house? No. She didn't have eight kids at one time, right? She they, had they six had... at one time. She, oh, had two. Wow. she had twins and then sex tablets. Is this the same as Octomom? Different. Uh, <laughs> Octomom was Octomom eight. Octomom had eight. Eight. Okay, so she had the record at six before and then Octomom had to do eight. Well, I don't think the record, I, don't I think people have been record. having like eight babies at a time. It before. doesn't make sense. I no, feel but like the, the Octomom did it on purpose. That wasn't just like, I cannot believe there's eight babies. How do either. you do it on purpose? The uh, in vitro fertilization. They, yeah, well, oh. I don't think the, when people do in vitro in, increases the likelihood of sometimes people having twins or triplets and stuff. But it's like, they're not going in going, I want to have triplets, give me in vitro. To give birth to six to eight babies. I just don't understand how they all stay Stay in here. Well, like for, for like to me, I feel like you have to cut from the top of your head <laughs> down to your asshole. Like you have to open the whole body well, up Mariah, and tiny. take all the babies out. Mariah, you have a uterus. I do. Do you like feel like it's possible to hold that many things inside of your uterus. I really think so. What is that? Is that not? That's not a weird question. I mean, I, no. I think she's a bad person. You have to ask somebody that's had a baby before. Well, because I think I'm sure what, it's like this. What's, well, what's pretty crazy? Yeah, I think is, because I haven't had one, I'm just like ignorantly no being like, yeah, of course I can do. I could have eight. Like, or your I don't body know, can like I feel. feel it. It. I think everybody's different, but like I, I think I personally feel like my body can handle so much. Okay. I don't know. I think I can do anything. <laughs> I think uh -oh, holding, we, we got Deca mom, right? <laughs> I think holding 60 pounds out in front of you has to be. Oh, you're back. Yeah, you can't really like, do Like think anything. about lifting up a 60 pound weight and just having that sitting. You can't walk around. You have to like sit, you have to sit like this all day. Look like, at the size of this. Oh, oh wait, you know what? That's, <laughs> small, that's smaller than I like, th like that's holding six babies. Well, they're tiny. When you have multiples, they're tiny. Oh, they're tinier. They're probably like five pounds oh. each when they came out. Oh, if okay. I could guess. That's Did you say she was a porn star? Did you just have that up there? No, that oh. no, that was that was Jordan on his personal time. Because the average world. average babies what? weigh like seven pounds, like six to eight pounds, I would say. She is a porn star. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, that's why she's able to take a uh, Zane. Zane. Is that how it works? <laughs> Just getting gang banged. That's if you found out that's how you have twins. <laughs> like if, <laughs> if, that, was, if oh, that was the science behind enough, it. Enough. 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 It stop. And then, get out. And just imagine having that and when somebody would look at you, oh you have twins. <laughs> <laughs> What were we talking about the other day? 
the, um, who, who was, who was, who were, like, who are we talking to when we're talking about how when someone goes, yeah, we're trying. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like, don't, like, like, don't tell them. You know, yeah, you'd be in elementary school and you kind of knew what sex was and your teacher be like, we're just trying so hard for a baby at home is the most like, why are you putting that image in my head? Well, like, it's, it's weird. Like, like when you talk to like your, your fiance or your wife, like yeah. their parents and you're like, yeah, we're trying. Like, you're basically like, yeah, I'm busting into her every single night. Uh -huh. And like, none that's so crazy. No like, one's yeah. business. But saying no like, we're business. trying is acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying for a baby. Just be like, we might have one. And I don't I, know. I honestly hate when people ask like a couple, when are you having a baby? <sighs> it's so crazy to me. I know. It's none of your fucking business. Yeah. I know. Ma'am. Deborah, especially well, people have Debbie. trouble having babies, and they have to hear all day. Oh, that would that would be so. I would like, be so. So mad. any babies on the way? I usually any joke with my friends after they have one. I'll, like, I'll be like, make make another. Well, they're, they're like, I'll do a, a joke. joke. I, I'll yeah. be, I usually do it after they've had one. I'll yeah. be like, do it. Make another one. Do yeah. it. Yeah. It needs a buddy. And, like, I'll I'll ham it up. I'm not like saying they need to give me a baby. And it's but. so common. The, it's especially now. It's so common that. Uh, uh, couples can't have babies. Yeah. And it's I, I so feel much more common than like, we think. For women that can't. I and know. they're I pray that I have no problem. Very good. That's a good one. I mean, I feel <laughs> no, like no, I feel like you are I very just healthy. hope my sperm isn't like fucked up because we're having our phones near our dicks all the day. I know. <laughs> oh, I, oh, thank God we don't pockets women. <laughs> <laughs> I, nice. I genuinely think there's something wrong with mine. Your With sperm? Your, mm -hmm. Oh, some Why? some people Why? have that. Um, yeah. Intuition. No, no, no. Like, there's nothing where I'm. It's not like anything <laughs> visual. I don't know. It's, probably because it's, it's, it's purple. Lime, it's lime green. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I've been told by like a doctor like a while back. I remember him telling me I was young. I was like maybe 18, 17, uh -huh. right? And I think we've talked about this before. He told me that um, low sperm count. No, Did it's not low sperm count. It's it, it's definitely not like my my flow is just fine. But he was telling me that oh, you might have a problem making kids in the future. That's what he told me. <gasps> Did you have well, like a penile injury? Like what happened? You said no. that when you were eighteen. Yeah, because I it, had it, I had a I had like my you know like your yearly checkup. Right. The Why doctor. don't you get another checkup and see where I should? At. Did it, you come? Did you come in a cup? What? Did you come in a cup? No, 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 oh. he, no. He. I think it was more. It may have been. Uh, How would he come to this uh, conclusion? I'm trying, well, I'm trying to remember like what he was doing. To you me. might have trouble. <laughs> no, 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 he's just like, yeah, yeah. He's just like, yeah, you're, you're, there's something. There's something wrong. Yeah. You know, you know where they check your reflex with their knees. <laughs> it only went like 45 <laughs> degrees. Oh, <laughs> you might have some issues. Um, it's nothing dangerous. You it's more just like, but it's, but it's so, it's so common though. It's so yeah. common, and. I, and I know people that I know a lot of couples. It's not even it's not the lady. It's the guy. Too. Yeah. So, you know, that the, the whole thing, like when you take a physical, like the, they uh, they touch your balls and they go like turn to the left and cough. Yeah. How is that the best way you're telling that my testicles? All right. I would and much rather have you <laughs> touch them as much as you can I'm for sure a whole would. minute than going cough. You're good. How do you know? I think it had like I, I'm sure maybe like they suck up a little bit if you have like a hernia or something. I also oh they're 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 checking, if something's wrong it I'm, does I'm something sure, yeah I'm sure it has to like because it's to check if you have a hernia but your hurt I thought hernias happen up here do you think oh. it's also oh, it's so I think oh. it, I think it checks like because maybe if you have a hernia it'll like tense and they'll like I don't I know thought it was like a better like jolt you to know the, be grateful at least they're not going inside you at least you didn't bend over and show your <laughs> Ew, butt the first time I think it's, it would be just too far and inappropriate if he was just. Yes, the well, thing just, is, I thought that like that's a proper testicular exam. I just be like, like, oh, you're good. I'm like, am I? Because it seemed really quick for one moment. But but but, but when Matt asked, he winked. <laughs> am I good? Am, am I? You might want to double check. <laughs> you only grabbed one. I just think it's interesting that uh, 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 that um, like you know, obviously women have like a more like complex and sensitive like ecosystem where they have to go to an OBGYN like routinely, but like men, we don't have a doctor for like our downstairs just to make sure that's going <laughs> just okay. a, just a straight weenie doctor. Yeah. Because we're, well, I mean, we're not like bleed. We're not like on a cycle. Right. We're not bleeding. I wonder if it's because we hold children. Yeah. There's more to check on women. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, ShipStation. If you didn't know, shipping costs are the number one cost of abandoned carts. Have you ever left a cart full of items in an online store because the shipping was just too expensive? In a landscape where free and fast shipping is the norm, it can be hard for smaller e-commerce businesses to compete. Keep yourself competitive with ShipStation. And when you use ShipStation, you can lower shipping costs, make returns easy, and keep your customers happy. And with all the time you save from automating your shipping tasks, you can keep your business growing all year long. And we all know that running a business can be very stressful, but ShipStation comes in and makes it super easy. Especially now that you can get a free trial and set up super, super quick. Now's the time to try ShipStation if you've been on the fence about it. And of course, ShipStation makes it easy to grow your business by handling orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. And ShipStation effortlessly integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. You can manage every order from one simple dashboard, automate routine shipping tasks, print shipping labels, and easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize your every shipment and automate delivery notifications. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do. And with the best discounts in the industry, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping ever. And get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our code to try ShipStation for free for two months. And if you're not convinced enough to use ShipStation, over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. And 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year became customers for life. So if you want to keep growing your business all year long with ShipStation, use code UNFILTERED today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. Again, that's ShipStation.com, promo code UNFILTERED. Thank you, ShipStation, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you, baby. How was the um, Genesis? Didn't you all oh, go to yeah. the golf tournament? Yeah, we did. I went to that last year. It was so sick. Yeah? Um, it was my first time ever going to like a live golf tournament. Oh, I didn't um, expect it to be like that Which was all. really cool. We saw Tigre. Who? Tigre El Wood. Oh, Tiger Woods. Tigre Wood. How yeah. did he look? Good. He looked pretty young. He looks. He just like has a younger. He's still looking. got an athletic build. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. guy's like in great shape. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was just cool to see him in person. Yeah, so focused that guy. Like he does not let the surroundings get to him at all. He doesn't look at anybody. Yeah, he is so focused to whatever he's doing. Was his it son was pretty there? Wild. I didn't Who? see his son. Who? I would Wait. love to see them. His together. son. Oh, his, his son, his son golfs oh. as well, but he's he's too young to like compete um, in the PGA. Apparently, it's really good. Um, apparently, people are allowed to play right behind him, like certain golf. Like you know, my friend Wyatt, mm -hmm. he was playing with a team right behind Ty. Like apparently, if you, you're allowed to do that, but like now, I don't think anybody can do it. But I didn't think that people could like play on the same course as like they are during a tournament. I didn't think so either, but. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I, when I, he posted, I was like, oh, I didn't, didn't think that'd be allowed. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it was really <clears> nice. A lot of walk. <clears throat> also, a ball landed like 10 feet away from us, out of bounds. Oh, It's just crazy it. that you could just be walking and just get rocked in the head. Oh, wait, <laughs> when did that happen? When when you stayed to try to get like a video when the cart was about to cross. Oh, you were, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We started walking to like keep going and it literally landed like 10 feet ahead of us. What if that was something telling me to stay back? You never know. Because I probably would have been in front of you guys a little bit getting pictures as <laughs> and you guys were walking. I probably would have started walking f sooner if you were with me, but I stayed there to wait and be like, yeah. Are you going to come? And you're like, hold on. No, I want to. The Lord works in mysterious ways. It's true. The Lord, the, he's up there. He's, he's there watching. It is crazy though. Like people, I don't get why people stand so close too. Like when, when they're like up against a tree, they're like all oh, lined around it. Yes. Like clearly in the line of fire. I'm surprised there's no boundaries. It seems like a free for all when you go watch people. Yeah. I think everybody's just expected like you are in the open, just if a ball comes out and you can't, and you can't like sue and, either, right? And it's crazy ball too, hits you like that? because it's not like you're watching basketball or baseball and there's one ball in play. Yeah, You know what I mean? Like I can, you can follow and watch one ball, but there's 18 different holes going on. I know, that's what I'm saying. And everybody's- And it's just all around. Are they allowed to drive around in golf carts, the players, or they walk the whole thing? They walk the whole thing, except Shoot. John Daly. John Daly makes him give him a car. Hell yeah. <laughs> so he's gotta smoke his cigarettes and drink <laughs> that, that Coke. Is he in town? Wait. Wait, that was all last weekend. He wouldn't still be in town, right? I don't think he played this. Oh, okay. Imagine getting hit by a golf ball by uh, by hmm. Tiger Woods. That would hurt so bad because I'm sure the way he's hitting it is so special and just like you know. <laughs> but like, it's, it's not just it's not just hard. It's 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 got that curve. It's got yeah, that like special trajectory. movement where it's gonna it'll go through your skull. You'll be dead. <laughs> he ain't hitting like well. I guess if like his driving is probably hard, but I think a lot of golf is the 
meticulousness of knowing exactly the right way to hit it. It's not always like yeah. about the power. It's about like compression. It's hit, hit uh, down on the ball. Yes, to get it to go a certain way. I don't know, maybe, but I bet it would hurt. But I, yeah, I think regardless of who's hitting it, you get smacked in the head. You're gonna. I should be a cart girl. I they love cart girl TikTok. They me too. Do. Are and you on the like, one the one that decorates her cart in Vegas? Yeah. And she's blonde. Yes. She's got big boobs. Yeah. And big she's, boobs. And she'll like. <laughs> yeah. She'll like, I know yeah. who this is. It, like if if you're saving up money. To go play golf for a day, you are spending a lot of money. Yeah, golf golf is it's not hard a to, sport. I feel so badly. It sucks that like you always gotta like or there's certain places, you know, where you gotta tip people. Like if you're at a car wash and you're getting your car back, you wanna tip them, you wanna tip valet people. But now like so we don't carry cash on us as much as we I used know. to. But a lot of them have Venmo. It's it's work. It's right, it's, but it's I wish it was easier. a little quicker to I'm, tip them and not be like do you have Venmo? Okay, can we pull it out like right. just for the tip? I know, like, but like, I mean, how would it- I'm I glad mean, we don't because I just, whenever I have cash on me and I'm out, I just, I just start giving everybody money. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's really bad. Like it's generous, but it's a little too much. Like there were, we went out, like when he's drinking and he <laughs> has bad. cash on him. That drunk generosity. That cash is gone because he's tipping. Somebody held the door open for him. He, 50 bucks. He's oh, like, here, thank he, you. 50 like, for yeah. door open. Very I don't nice. Know why. I don't know why. <laughs> or, or like like if it's a bouncer, like working the club and he like, he's like, a, a, it seems like a nice guy. And he was like being friendly and. I don't. I didn't have like small bills, and I wanted. I was just like, yeah. But I do that when like you, like you're a retired old man, like throwing <laughs> yeah. it. You're like you're like thirty years old. Like it's not like. But you, but you know what? Next time that guy sees you, he might just bring you right in. You don't have to wait at a line. You don't have to pay the upfront fee. I don't know. Sometimes like, that shit works. The guys in the bathrooms, I'm always giving them way too much money. Like you know, they they just like pump soap in your hand. Yeah. Oh, that, that I night do. I gave one one of one of those guys. A if 52. you are working as a bathroom attendant, but like just I they, give just give them money. But like I, I it's things that I like. I want to be generous. I want to like. And my dad does the same thing. It's an Italian thing though, where you tip everybody in sight, no matter what they're doing. Like if they let you pass. Oh my! Here's a but but it was like a dollar. We didn't have that much, and they were like, "Go give this guy a dollar. Go give him a dollar. <laughs> go give him go a get, dollar. Hurry up! Go go chase him down the block and give him a dollar." But I wasn't getting on to you about tipping people generously. It's just the doorman it's not a thing. Bad thing. It's the doorman, it's $50 to a doorman. And I'm like, you're 30 years old. Like, Well, if I had smaller bills, I probably would have given something smaller. But in that mindset, I was just like, I was drunk. I just like wanted to be giving. So I was like, <laughs> this is all I have. So, so if you had a bunch of do $1 bills, you'd give people a dollar? Also I, sometimes it depends like how bucks. much the parking is. Sometimes valet is like, it's so much money. We're like, you sixty dollars for Valet's the whole yeah. oh, I'm not tipping almost you. Almost a hundred dollars out here. When I go to my Valet. dentist, it's like sometimes like fifteen, twenty bucks, and I'm like, and, and, and you have to that's like a dollar. And you have to valet. You have to valet. There's Every, no other option. There are no parking lots in LA. Yeah, no, you have to pay for a a deck like a meter. And if there is a parking lot, they have the bar that you have to pay for to get, you're on the same ground level. I don't understand what you're paying for. It, it makes no, I, I just don't understand that. I don't understand how you can charge that much when we, it, there's, you're not giving us other op, like cheaper options. Right. It's like, nope, you either have to do the valet or you could park a mile away. A mile away because there's no, like, especially at like those restaurants, like on like Ventura. Yeah. None of them have parking lots. Yeah. And especially coming from Florida, it's just hard. It's hard when everywhere had a parking lot and, and it every, was free. Everything was a shopping mall. Yeah. Oh God, it was beautiful. Man. Like I want to pull in. I want to be able to get like Bennigan's mm -hmm. and get Dollar General. I know every time yeah. I in the same parking lot. Yeah. Who owns these valet? Like, is it part of a restaurant? Is it part of a plaza? They, they seem like pop-ups. It seems like somebody bought an umbrella on Amazon and just that's what it seems like, like right? It's, a, it's a valley company it? and then you offer that service to the restaurant. And when there's a fucking app, if there's a fucking app that I got to download for some parking situation, I get so pissed. Oh, yes. We're like, I'm on the go. And they go, oh, you got to pay for parking. We'll download this app. And I'm like, <laughs> absolutely not. Like, they you have, have that shit in Florida by the beach. You uh -huh. got to download the app. Why? Do I have the download or that? Or you finally find a lot, and then you got to find the one parking meter that the universal one where everyone has to walk yeah. like a block to. <laughs> it's and the then one you, box. You, yeah, and then you walk 
like five minutes to it and then they go what's your license plate number <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta wa- or send somebody like yell what it is and then when you get it you have to put it in your window and you gotta go back again and you gotta stick it that's on your dash fr- that's so oh, and, then, and you're like well oh and then it goes what's my space number fuck and then you go back and then it's like the paint is just chipped away and yeah. then you're like okay well if that's 16 17 18. and this is all before you even get to your destination you're just parking it, like, it, it is crazy that like these parking lots were free and then the government was just like yeah no, we don't okay. need we don't need to make money off this parking lot. We're just going to do it. It depends on who owns the lot. No, no. No, there'll be city ones. Like it goes to the city, not like a private those boxes yeah, where yeah. it prints out. That's that's not privately owned. That's a, the city owns on that. the curbs. Yes. No, no. I'm talking for example, oh, I'm sorry. talking the one in Florida by the beach. Oh. That one is the city owns that. But that they never had that shit. Yeah, it's just, they just installed and they're just like, we're gonna start charging everybody for this parking lot because mm. they can. Where's the first come first serve, baby? I do have a little hack at the Glendale Mall. If you guys ever go to the Glendale <laughs> Mall, you know how you have to pay for the parking deck. Yeah. If you park at the deck where Target is inside the mall, oh, yeah. it's free. The mm-hmm. deck. I love a little parking hack. Yeah. The the Target parking. They are lot two is free. decks oh. directly next to each other. But one of them leads to the outside of the mall. One of them's on the inside. So you just have to walk through the inside of the mall to go to the outside All right. and it's free. Didn't you have a weird kind of parking situation that I, happened? I, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, Zane, you can. I was, dude. Ah, <sighs> Speak your truth. Okay, what all right. Happened? So you didn't hear about this? I So every uh, so, so every day I, um, I go see my trainer. I go, I drive, it's like in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. I drive, I drive to his apartment complex. His his gym is in his apartment complex, right? right. Like his room is on the top and then his whole bottom floor is a gym. So I park right in the front where like Uber's park, where DoorDash is parked. Everybody parks here. I didn't even get out, right? I'm still in my car. I pull up, I pull up every day. I text him, hey, I'm here. He gives me the key. I park in his spot in his apartment complex. This is your routine. You do that routine. I've been doing it for the past nine months. Every completely legal. Everything is legal. About three days ago, four days ago, I pull up and I immediately see this like parking lady there. She was probably giving tickets to people that were parked illegally because you can't like park there. Yeah. Right. But if you're like an obvious, it's it's a red zone. What red zone? It's a red zone. Yeah. Yeah. And there's people not in their cars that were parked there. That's you can't do that. Right. I immediately, I pull up, I drive up and then I stop. I pull up my phone to text Mario that I'm here. And all of a sudden, the, I see this lady. Oh my God. It's so hard <laughs> for me not to call her. Like a, a bitch. A, a wench. Just <laughs> <laughs> this lady just starts walking past my car and I see her. I'm like, oh, wench. Okay. And I go back to my phone. I'm finishing the text. And then I look in my rear view, rear view mirror and she is writing me a ticket. Taking a picture, writing me a ticket. I put the window down and go, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, miss. Is um, Are you writing me a ticket? She's like, I told you to move. <laughs> I was like, no, no, you didn't. My, I, my, my, my window's up. Like, I obviously didn't hear you. I'm sorry. And she's like, no, no, no. You, what, you, what you're trying to do, you want, you want to disrespect me. You want to disrespect me because you're privileged. I was like, oh God. Oh my <laughs> oh, God. No. And I get out of my, like, I was so, because this, like, I, there was no mis- misunderstanding. Like, it didn't matter for this lady. She it's, was not having, like, it's not like you were given a warning. She was having a bad, she, she didn't do anything to let me know that I, I didn't need, I just pulled up. Right. You can, there's nowhere where if you pull up, you get a ticket. Right. Name one place where you just pull up, it's immediately like, get a ticket. It's not like you got out and started I didn't walking, get out. Like I was still car. in my yeah. car. You can even in the middle of a street, you can park there if you are next, like it, you are dry, you are yeah. passing by. Oh there is no, gosh. nothing illegal Actually, about that. on my test I took this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, okay, all right. So I, I am at this point, I knew that she didn't care. Yeah. She knew I didn't hear her. I didn't see her. If she did say something to me, I didn't see it because my window's up. I'm, te- I'm texting Mario to give come me the down key. and give me right. the key. Exactly. I knew that. She didn't like come up to your window and knock and be like, excuse yeah. me, you can't park here. Exactly. Nothing. Nothing. She just wrote the ticket. Nothing. And that's normally what you do. You walk up to the right. car, make sure they see you. Hey, you, you need to get out of here. You can even say it in a mean way. Right. You can't be here. As simple as that. Right. You could be really nasty. I don't care. But you didn't do it, and that's what made me so angry that she, she uh, that she was writing me a ticket. You blew, you blew a gasket, huh? You were you he were, filmed. Her. I was I was having. Oh, I filmed it. He was I'm like, not, "What do you?" It was no. I get out of my car and I'm like, 
why are you giving me a ticket? And 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 she kept on going back and forth. I'm disrespectful. Uh, oh, she I didn't am, really have a reason. She just she didn't have a, a reason. Day. I think she just looked at me and she goes, "He's my next. He's my next target." Like I, she was oh. just having a miserable fucking day, and you could tell I was having an amazing day. <laughs> Great. Day. Not trying to rub it in. I her was face really or anything, nice. But. I was even being really nice to her. I was like. Ma'am, look, I did not like. I didn't hear you. I, my windows are up; they're tinted. I, I, I didn't, I didn't see. I know she was there, but I did not see her right. talk to me. She didn't care. She did not care. So she and we were. I at this point, I blocked out and I did not record this part. But we were full on screaming the entire complex. Oh, oh I was so. I was just so angry that she was like saying this shit to me this was she was saying this shit to me before i even like blew a casket right she was <laughs> saying all this shit to me in front of everybody at this apartment complex just completely embarrassing me when i was not in the wrong and that i i couldn't just be nice to get in my car because she was still right she was still giving me that ticket right and that made me really upset because you know how these fucking systems work you you have a ticket you have to pay it doesn't right. matter what happens and i hated that because because i didn't it's not like I recorded the whole situation and it's not like my car re fucking recorded it either. Nothing recorded this interaction. I was going to ask that. I was going to say you have a Tesla, so it could exactly. have recorded. Exactly. It did it. For some reason, it did not save she this put interaction for like my Tesla EMP camera. She up to she it. Put a, to like, no, she put a spell. Just some like magnet <laughs> thing that just fucks up the camera. But we were, we were pretty much like at like, it's just a vocally just I, we weren't screaming at each other. I, I over exaggerate. We, we it were was just, heated. We, it was heated. We we're having words. She was being really <laughs> nasty to me, and I tried so hard uh, not to call her bad. Not to call her bad words, but I didn't. What right? did you, I, you didn't? You didn't call her anything. I didn't call her anything. You didn't, you didn't say like no, 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 stupid, nasty. No, idiot. no, 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 no. I at the end of the day, she is working. You know, yeah. If she was like a random lady, just like being nasty to me, maybe. But like, I don't know. There's just a part of me that was like, oh, I got. I mean, I, once she was gone, I was fucking screaming. Right. But like, I didn't say it to her face. I also didn't want to piss her off anymore because I don't know what she could do. A, de to, a demerit. I just didn't like. I just didn't know how much power she held, and that's what that's what it was too. She I, she knew she had power, and she was holding that shit against me. And she knew she could do whatever she wanted to do. Yeah. How much was the ticket for? I haven't seen the ticket yet, but she definitely wrote me a ticket because I had Leah immediately. I called Leah. I was like, "We need to do something about this." We're not. Did she this give you slide. a physical ticket? No, she didn't give me a physical ticket. It was all through like mail. Like it was all oh, like online. She made it even harder for yeah. you. Yeah, and oh. um, did did you drive off or did she like just let like what? How did so it, how did I, it so end? It, so it ended. She was she was walking back to her car. Obviously, she she was still she she gave me the ticket. So I pulled out my phone phone and started recording her because I wanted to <laughs> get her. I'm recording um, you. I wanted to get her name, her her badge number, everything. I just needed that because if I left without that, I would have regretted. Yeah. It. I just needed that because I, I I had to report her. There was just no, I, and you know what? I, I've paid for so many tickets. I've gotten those speeding tickets. Right. I it's know what I'm about, wrong. It's not about the ticket. It's and not how about much the price. It yeah. it's, it's the a, principle. It's the principle. She, she knew what she was doing. She knew she was taking it on me for no reason. And she knew she was not supposed to be giving that ticket. Yeah, because like, every time you question it nicely, she just attacked you with exactly. like, you're, you're privileged. You're, you're, you're privileged and you're disrespectful so, and you don't care about, and you don't want to, you didn't want to listen to me. You take her to court, take her to people's court, take her to judge Judy. Yeah. I, Dude, I, I I told Leah like I get me on the phone with somebody. I I I, I was going as I was going so far. I was like, I, I I we're trying to get to somebody in charge, and I right. on the phone. I wanted to say, hey, look, I think she was just so nasty that I I wanted to ask for her to vocally. I wanted her on the phone to vocally apologize to the way she treated me. Yeah. And the fact that she gave me a ticket for no reason. <laughs> okay, that's a little much. Tell me you're sorry. <laughs> but no, no, th but, but think about, th all right, think about a cop that goes to somebody and does something fucking crazy to somebody for no reason. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not comparing it, but I'm just saying she has power. She works for the government and she fucking abused it. Did she work for the government? Yeah, yeah. Or if was you're working it for street parking, that LA, is not a government. LA city. Um, is it's a, a it's a government it's, it's a government uh, oh i thought it was job. like an agency that they hire out no to no no it's a, no it's a government official job like you, you I'm have pretty, i'm pretty sure it is you have the power to give a ticket to every single car in your vision yeah. you literally can and if someone it, like you, they can report it but like but don't how are, far are there does security that go? cameras outside the hotel that can show how long you were parked outside of the place oh you should have gone to the apartment to see if they have a camera 
my car was, or our, our cars are stolen. And you think cops even give a shit about that? You think they were going to give a shit about a parking ticket? It's not about the cops. I think you can go and just collect that when you, the, that footage when you well, challenge no, it's it. Like when you no, ask for footage, they're they like, never, we need the police. They well, never give you footage. Yeah. Mariah, Mariah sent it a picture. Remember you got that one parking ticket? And you sent in a picture of the, oh, the yeah. sign that your car was parked and in front of. And they voided it right away. And they completely voided it. Like she showed I proof. got a ticket, but the street that I was on didn't have any signs. So I took a picture of my car, took a picture of the, the street, all different angles video. All I did was send it in. No and questions they, asked. They, they dropped they it. Dropped hmm? it. You could have moved stuff. your car. I'm surprised that they like took that. <laughs> what? I'm saying you could have just moved your car. I'm surprised well, on, they just took on that. On the ticket, it shows where like, like what street you're parked on and like. I had to take a picture of like the street sign. Like the like what block I was on? Oh, because there was no street sign where she got that ticket at. Right, got it. So maybe if you got video uh, like from the like apartment complex that you pulled up at, yeah. Like if it shows you pull up, if I had that Tesla footage, oh, I know that'd have been perfect because you like I would I, I would even show it here. I'd be like you could see that this lady. Damn, was it just sucks that it didn't record bed. that. Yeah, I know. I was really bummed. Remember the accent that I had? Mm -hmm. It just wasn't recording. It's just crazy. It's got to have a else. recording all the it's time. It's got everything else. I looked, by the way, I looked at every other day, recorded everything, everything from every day, except for that moment. Damn. That happened in front of the apartment complex. So weird. Yeah. Damn. But yeah. Wench. That really, that really like ruined my day. But you know what? There's, it was, there's, the a, thing, there's a thing called karma. Yes. And I'm a I believe, firm believer in karma. I am too. I've gotten my karma back many times. Yeah. I believe in that shit. So you know right, what? Don't be so silent. Like it was such a like a crazy. Angela Bassett <laughs> did the thing. Viola Davis, my woman king. It's just a small violin playing. <laughs> <as> a... <laughs> I know we're talking about paying for parking. Like you poor thing. Th th it is frustrating. But yeah, we, I have a court case with her um, next week. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme, <laughs> Supreme Court. <laughs> anything? Uh, uh, has anything come about from your subpoena? Did you surrender the documents and you haven't heard anything about that case? I haven't heard back uh, since that um, since that email. Mm. Mm. Did anybody hear that this girl came forward and she thinks she's Madeline McCann? Yes, I have. You you mentioned that the like what? So she just has some inkling that she is that missing girl. So she always felt like her parents were hiding something from her because she would ask for her birth certificate, her social security, and they would always avoid the question and they would never give her anything. And she just had this feeling and she did research on, she found out about Madeline McCann and she thinks she looks very similar to her. Her name is Julia, I think. Yes, Julia, she's um, a Polish girl. She is, I'm putting this in quotes. She's 21 years old, but she always felt like that wasn't her real age. Because if you look at the timeline, she would be younger if she was Madeline. McCann. Madeline, I think would be oh. 19 or yeah, 18 Yeah, a couple now. years younger. She, um, kinda, she looks 19. She but does, in my opinion, if you look at the two pictures together, I really don't think she looks like her. I think she looks like somebody else that went missing close to where Madeline went missing. Cause she is, I think has some connection to the guy who they suspect was like, involved with like right. uh, abducting Madeline. Yes. Really? Madeline has this eye. Is it a, is this just a color or deficiency? What What is that? Um, she has something on her eye. It's like a spot. It's just like a, there's a spot on her eye that's darker than the rest of her eye. She has like these bluish green eyes. And this girl, Julia has a similar faded one on the same eye in the same place, which is very oh, interesting. I mean, she kind of look, she looks um, like her. I don't think so. I, I think don't their think eyes so either, are- um, but Oh wait, her chin. Yeah, her chin is actually not the same. Well, I mean, she was also little. Then. Well, actually, it it dips a little bit on that left side. But as a child, and she also has a freckle older. on the other side of her face that's similar. Oh. But Jordan, can you type in Inga Garrick? I don't know how to spell her last name. I N G A. So this is a girl who went missing in like 2015. She looks just like this girl, and she hasn't been found. So Inga's on oh, the right yeah. oh. and Madeline's oh, on the left. Yeah. That's Inga. Oh my God. That oh. No, that's the, that's so Julia. That looks just like her, I think. Yeah, she definitely looks more like her. This girl went missing in 2015. I think she was maybe Wait. eight years old. So I'm thinking of the timeline. Whether she is Madeline McCann, Inga or not, everybody agrees that something is suspicious. I think she is a missing child because she comes from that area. Oh, wow. wow. And up until I think yesterday or two days ago, they agreed for her to take a DNA test. Wow. But we'll probably, who knows by the time this episode comes out, if it has been confirmed, do if you, not. Do you think you would know if it was your daughter, if she walked up? Motherly instinct, it does kick in. 
Yeah, I feel people like people are something. thinking because the parents didn't jump right on this case that they just either know that she's already passed or like they're I just also, like it, it's probably hard for them to be like you don't want to get your hopes up. You don't want to be like yeah, it's been such a long time. And you're like, it's just like I, yeah, exactly I like, yeah. It, it reminds me of that. I mean, I, feel I, like I it would just like hurt if it wasn't. You, uh, Mariah, you would love this documentary. Um, it's called The Imposter. Yeah, me and Matt watched it the other day. I, don't, I obviously don't want to like say anything on it, but it's it, it, it's about um a child that went missing. Yes, and um and then years later they think the child or was the found. Child, the child or was a found. guy in Spain claimed that he was this missing child that went missing in America. Yeah, there's another story where this kid he was doing a um. Oh, he went to apply for college mm -hmm. and his social security number was coming up invalid. And he ended up, long story short, he ended up finding himself on a missing child's um, website because he looked at, there was a child and then there was a, what is it called? The gradual image, like what- they, Yeah, yeah, what they, they think they would uh, look like. Oh, they have that on all those sites? Right. A lot of them. Yeah, like, yeah. it would be like, so, it's been missing for 10 years. This is what we expect wow. them to look and he, like. And he looked very similar to it. If you've ever seen the movie Abducted or Abduction with Taylor Lautner, uh -huh. yeah. um, same thing. They did a school project and they were looking up missing children and he was one of the missing children. Same thing. I That's just think if, if that girl's Madeline McCann, Madeline McCann was the most, uh, 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 people were searching all over for her. Everyone in Europe knew what Madeline McCann looked like. And it's just wild that this child was still like right. running around though. And no one was like, that's Madeline McCann. Right. I, I mean, hope- The things that she was I kidnapped, she was obviously uh, like hit, being hidden. Like whoever was kidnapped her, she was being hidden. I always felt like Madeline McCann is going to be found just because it's a whole, it's like John JonBenet Ramsey. Yeah. I feel like eventually we're going to know the story just because it's such like a, I think universe wise, I think we're going to find Madeline McCann. I think uh, John Benet Ramsey case is going to be solved. solved. But apparently there's a psychic a while ago that said Madeline McCann gets found in like 2024 or something. Oh, weird. I have no idea. I think well, she's we'll dead. See. You think she's dead? Madeline how long, McCann, is, how long has she been dead. missing? Since 2003. Was it? No, it was 2007, 2008. MySpace uh, was big when Madeline McCann went missing. Wow, it was that long ago. And she was yeah. like, what was she, three years old? 2007. 2007. What made her story three. so insane? Because they were in they were in Spain. Um, on vacation. Or Portugal, sorry. They were in Portugal on vacation. They were staying at a hotel. Okay, oh, um, then I know Big the vacation then. spot. Okay. All the parents, all the kids were sleeping. A bunch of, it was a bunch of couples. All the kids were sleeping in the hotel room and all the parents were down at the pool bar area having drinks in every hour or every 30 minutes, one of the parents would agree to go check on the kids and make sure that they were doing okay. And it was like uh, a six minute walk up to the hotel room and they would go and peek and see if the kids were fine. Then I think it was the mom who went and looked up uh, within 30 minutes, locked. the was, other kids were still there in the room, but Madeline was missing. And none of the kids came out and said anything? They were asleep. They were sleeping and they were younger than her. But then some so person- she was already three years old and they were younger. Do you think somebody had a key to their room or she like left the room and I think then it was she was open. picked up? I think the room, I think the room was the room open. The room was open. Because I think it was also like, it had like about, I'm pretty sure, I'm sorry if I'm wrong about this. It was like a outdoor balcony, you know, like, uh, or like, you know how like you have the pool access? Yeah. And, like it's sliding door. I think it was one of oh. those situations and they Got were just it. going in but they think that the person i think it was a corner unit i'm pretty sure and that there also was something where they could have gone through a window and yeah. gotten in Got i'm it. pretty sure and obviously whoever did this they're waiting for that perfect window like if we're all constantly like having to watch out for somebody waiting for that perfect window then what like we're never gonna leave our house then mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's i don't know but part of me i have this weird thing where i think actually madeline mccann that she woke up and got realized it. was like, where are the parents? And then started trying to walk towards down to That's the hotel. That's what I'm saying. Well, and think left. I, think, I think no one went into the apartment. I think that she tried, went walking and then she got abducted. That's yeah. what some people think too. That's because she the... was that kind of, I think she had that kind of personality where she was like very kind of an independent child and was like mm. very curious and just walked. Um, I don't know. But apparently the guy in question has had a history of young children. How do you have in a that area? His history. Like, how is how is there a history? It's like once it happens, that's it. Gotcha, bitch. Got you. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> so you should not be out and about.
with a history. But the guy that's in question for Madeline, he you said he has that connection to Inga, right? Yeah, I don't really know that much about it. I know, it. I, wish I don't I did. know how much she explains it, but she has a- The moment this girl gets an ad deal, I'm, I'm gonna be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> she messed up 500,000 followers. A, I'm like, mm. She gets a 23 and me. Right yeah. now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be brilliant. That would be smart. Woo! Let's hope we get some clarity here on those. I, I, I would like to see Madame McCann found. And I would like to see your Tesla footage be found. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go home and see if maybe it like pops up in like the- It just recent. could have been lagging. Yeah, maybe, hopefully. It wasn't lagging on the recent one, but we'll see. Does okay. anybody smell hibachi? <laughs> oh, that's the kitchen on fire. <laughs> Wow. <sighs> okay. Mm. Well, um, all right. We're going to close this episode out. And we're going to see the unwinders here in a second. Um, thank you so much for joining us on another unfiltered episode. You can check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, mm. where we post bonus content, bonus episodes. We post our unwind videos. We let the camera roll after, uh, after, after, <clears throat> we let the camera roll after we finish and we record it for about 15, 30 minutes. It's like a mini episode after every episode. We guys, we have that on Patreon. Um, we also do a live QA. We have a, a, a private discord where you can all chat on. Oh my, my brain's not working right now. Um, and yeah, for $5 all a month, free. you get all of that and you get all the back catalog once you pay the $5. And early access to all of these podcasts. So everybody watching um, gets to see it a few days early. And yeah, also make sure to check out Komoda Coffee, Komoda.com. We got a bunch of different flavors, espresso in whole and ground bean. We also have a new flavor coming out. It's our... Uh, Blueberry pancake. Uh, and then the following week, we're going to be dropping oatmeal chocolate chip. Uh, mm. Oh, boy. Uh, but all right, guys. Unwinders, we'll see you in a second. And we love you. And see you next week. Toodaloo, mother Fs. Bye. <laughs>